and welcome to a new video and this time we're going to have a look at how can we use the recently released pass-through camera API from Meta to stream our pass-through image and the digital content to any device using WebRTC. So first of all, we're going to check out the Quest Camera Kit. Let me make it a little bit bigger for you, which was released a few days ago and which has a lot of samples for the Passful Camera API, which will make our setup a lot easier. We are going to use the Frosted Glass sample as this is the basic sample to start with. And we're going to use the simple WebRTC asset, which is free and available in the Unity Asset Store. For everyone who doesn't want to use the asset store, by the way, I would love to have your ratings here. You can also check out GitHub. It's, the links are all in the description box. And in addition to simple WebRTC, we will need the native WebSockets for our WebSocket communication. And of course, a WebSocket server for signaling. I already set everything up. If you're curious, on how to set this up. Everything is documented on the GitHub page. The code is within the asset. Everything is explained here. And the Unity project itself will also act as a client later on. But we'll see that at a later part of this video. And let's get started by checking out the Quest Camera Kit. I already opened the project, switched to Android, and did all the necessary settings. For the initial setup, you can just use the project setup tool, but make sure that you don't change the opaque texture setting, which is here under settings, mobile render pipeline asset. This must be checked, otherwise the sampling of the webcam does not work. This is also mentioned in the GitHub repository here in the uh, object detection color pick uh, frosted glass shader. Here you go. If you cannot see the blur effect, make sure the render asset the pick text to check what is checked. So this will basically need to be checked. So everything is working. But nevertheless, let's go on. We'll just clean up a little bit. We don't we really need this blurred quad as we only want to have the webcam texture here. We don't really need the mapped camera and the frosted glass controller is not needed too, but we will need the URP webcam mapping material, which basically does the webcam mapping for us. And we can just duplicate this frosted glass controller. I'll just duplicate it here and put it in a separate folder, let's create a folder called scripts. And put it in there for changing and re rename that to uh, camera stream controller. Because we just need to tell our WebRTC package where the webcam texture is, so we'll go on here. Here's the pass-through manager. We'll just rename the class, make that a little bit bigger. So what this does is that it maps the webcam texture to our material, and we will need to stream that into our camera. And in addition, we want to trigger our WebRTC connection with the start button. It doesn't matter if we're using hand tracking or the controller, so we will need the WebRTC connection here and we will add that in a second. So let's get back in here, save the scene for now, get the controller here and the uh, 
camera API prefab here and the URP webcam mapping material here. And we can just remove that and remove that and rename that to webcam stream control. So, and for now, we will need the simple WebRTC asset window package manager. It's already in my assets, simple WebRTC. It will also install the Unity WebRTC package. And we will see a few errors because we don't have imported the native WebSocket yet. Nevertheless, let's just import it. There is the error and let's go to the native WebSocket copy the GitHub URL from the docs, go back to Unity, package manager, add package by Git URL, here we go, install, wait for the install to finish. And one very important thing, we have to go to project settings, to player settings. And first of all, let's let this run without focus. And in the other settings, WebRTC connections do not work with Vulkan at the moment. So we'll have to add OpenGL, move it up. And that's basically it. I can just change that. Shorter version, and everything else seems like it's working. Okay, and we now need our camera here, the WebRTC connection. Just add a new field here. Okay. Uh, web RTC connection and we let it start the video transmission here. So now that everything is basically set up, we will need to add the web RTC connection stuff here. That's pretty easy. Go to simple web RTC to prefabs and drag the client stun connection in here and link it up. To the camera stream controller. So at the client stun connection, this is basically already set up. So the links are already here, WebSocket server address in here, the stun server address is in here. The peer ID is unique with the red peer ID and we'll have to check this one to get our WebSocket up and running. And there is one thing that we need to make sure of because the prefab is um, preset up for the usual usage. So we'll just unlink it here, unpack completely, go to the streaming camera and reset the position here to zero so that this is not offset. And of course, we will have to set this to the point where our point of view is to the center eye anchor in our case and parent it down here. So that's the client connection. It's not parented right. Everything is going on. We're streaming via our streaming camera. This is this one here because we can't use the Sentai anchor for this. And the web stream controller will start the video as soon as we're going to click our start button or perform the start gesture. So now streaming is generally possible. We can just start the application to check if the WebSocket server will connect and the web server WebSocket connection works. So we have one big problem with this implementation because we're now streaming to material, but we want to send the stream over a WebRTC connection. So streaming the material itself does not work here directly. So there are many ways to do that. 
render something in a raw image and so on. Um, but we will go for a slightly different approach. We will create a canvas or we, we will create a raw image here and make the canvas screen space camera and we'll use our streaming camera to render the webcam texture. We'll just make it like 50 and the raw image should stretch over the whole canvas. And we will not need our material here, so we'll just remove this one and use okay, also this one and remove this one. So no material needed here. But what we will need is the raw image to stream on. So add this one here, serialize field, raw image. Let's call it raw image for a stream. And as soon as this starts, we'll say raw image dot um, main texture is the webcam texture. Uh, raw image text, uh, not main texture, but texture. Here we go. So we can assign this. And now our canvas will receive the webcam stream. This will be rendered to a raw image. And this raw image is part of a canvas which will only render to the screen space of our streaming camera. And this streaming camera will send our video over WebRTC to a client. Just to make this a little bit better visible, we're just adding the cube, the default cube here. Let's check out our scene. So this will stay down here. The canvas will render the raw image like a skybox, like it's done on the actual um, VR device. We have a stream controller. We will have to add the raw image to stream our webcam image. And the WebRTC asset will do the rest for us. So that's basically the setup for the sender. It will more or less work in the editor too. So if we start it now, we don't have a client to stream to, so there will be no active WebRTC connection. So let's take care of this first and open our WebRTC client. So I just created a new project in Unity 6, switch to Android, set everything up for the WebRTC client app. I installed or imported simple WebRTC and duplicated the single client stun connection scene into a WebRTC quest path to see. All you have to do here is to deactivate the canvas. We won't need that and change the local peer ID to from red, I changed it to blue, so it's a little bit simpler and activated the WebSocket connection active tick checkbox here. And another thing, I unlinked this from the prefab and activated the video canvas here to make the receiving raw image a little bit bigger. So I added a vertical layout group, added a little bit of spacing here, control child size, child force expand, and made it to 15, 12 in the width and the height, depending on how many clients are connecting. I expect two clients connecting smartphone and the VR glasses, but it doesn't matter at all. So let's make this side by side. And I don't know, let's start the client first. WebSocket connection is open. Let's start the VR application next. We won't see that much, but we see that the WebRTC connection actually worked and that we are now able to start the video stream here. We're receiving a video stream here, so but the scene does not record anything because the cube is within our camera. So I just stopped the app. Something locked up on my side, I guess um, the WebSocket connection took too long, so it disconnected the client. 
but I didn't change anything. I just restarted it and moved the cube a little bit forward. So the cube is basically now two meters in front. And we will see that the incoming camera image will be a little bit distorted. So we'll just change this one here to from 580 to 156 to get a little bit of better view. And now we're just starting both clients again. So just to test it in the editor. And on the VR side, start the video transmission here. And we see that our cube is streamed from one to the other client. We now move the cube, for instance, left to right, everything works. And if we're now moving our, for instance, our head or the whole tracking space, we can also see that the movement here works. Up, down, and so on, by just turning. So we're now streaming the camera image to a client over the web. Test it in the editor, and you can now just build the sample and activate your video stream by doing the start gesture, as you can see in the video, and receive it on a client. There's one short fallback, though. The clients and the sender must be connected beforehand before the video stream is started. Otherwise, the newly joined clients won't be able to receive the video stream directly. There may be changes to that, but a simple restart of the video stream usually helps. It's something that I'm on, but for now, I think that will work. If you have any questions, feel free to use the comment section or the GitHub repository. Make sure to like, subscribe, and write a few comments. If you like it, I would totally love to see a few reviews on the Unity Asset Store for my simple WebRTC asset. And a big thank you to all the YouTube members who have an active membership. Please consider becoming a YouTube member too to get faster answers from me on your YouTube comments. And I hope that helps. I hope that showed that using the new camera pass through API is pretty, pretty easy and you can do everything in using WebRTC video streaming for that. So that's it. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.